B-roll is for losers. Now, that's a bold statement that I stand for. You see, many big YouTubers tell you that B-roll is good for your video production. But if you want to reach out fame here on YouTube, you should use C-roll instead. Now, what is C-roll? Coming up. Hey, I'm Kay from Unfamous.academy, where I teach people how to stay small, shrink their influence, and actually become infamous on YouTube. Now, interestingly, some people actually take my advice and apply the exact opposite. Now, I still haven't figured out why, so if you do know, please let me know in the comments below. Now, first of all, before we define C-roll, also known as U-roll, let's first define what B-roll is. So, if we... Uh, read what's in Wikipedia, it says in film and television production, B-roll, B-roll, B-reel or B-reel is supplemental, is sub... Can I read? In film and television production, B-roll or B-reel is supplemental or alternative footage intercut with the main shot. The term A-roll, referring to the main footage, has fallen out of usage. Okay, that's great. But what Wikipedia doesn't tell you is that C-Roll, which I just invented, stands for crappy role. Also known as U-Roll for unfamous role. Okay, you can use both interchangeably. In this video, we're going to try to stick to C-Roll. Now, going back to the B-Roll definition from Wikipedia, that works fine for Hollywood. But here on YouTube, B-Roll usually means buttery smooth and gorgeous slow-mo footage that actually makes you want to click on Amazon affiliate links in the description below. But as you already know from the intro, B-Roll is for losers, right? Now let me introduce C-Roll or crappy roll to you. C, where B-Roll's role is usually to emphasize a point or show details, C-Roll is a disruptive way of introducing confusion in your audience. This way they get completely confused and they run away from your content, which is ultimately what you want if you want to be unfamous here on YouTube. And cherry on the cake, if they run away from your content, they won't click on your affiliate links and you won't get those nasty PayPal commission emails. So how does this work? I'm going to show you a couple of examples, but what you need to know is that first you need to have your A-roll footage, right? Then you're going to intercut some smothering Smuttery booth. <laughs> then you're going to intercut some buttery smooth B-roll gorgeous slow-mo losers footage, okay? Just to make your audience comfortable. And then when your audience least suspects it, you're going to introduce some C-roll footage that has nothing to do with the subject. You may do that a few times over and over just to confuse and annoy your audience even more. If you're a beginner, you need to practice. So for example, each time you go out with your camera, you could film flowers, for example, and then you're going to intercut flowers in all your videos, unless they're videos about flowers, of course. Also, if you just bought your camera, make sure you take some shots of a woman touching flowers in slow-mo because we don't get enough of these here on YouTube. But I'm digressing here. But if you really want to look like an unpro, you need to go the extra mile. So let's take a look at how to use this technique commercially with a couple of commercial clips. Namaste, my friend. I'm Guru Muchamone from Scammy Your Veda Seeds. I started my Scammy Your Veda journey when I realized that you could sell pretty much anything to anyone with the appropriate lighting, the appropriate music, and the appropriate voice. Something that people often do not realize is the fact that possessions are evil. And I'm there for my customers to help them get rid of their possessions by giving it to me. Now, of course, I'm not benefiting from those donations because the donations are actually handled by my inner self. When it comes to financial donations, actually give 0.001% to a charity that I created for the people who share my last name. Another thing I realize is the fact that the bigger the lie, the easier it is to actually make people believe it, if you say it with a smile. I have the power to speak to the universe. For example, right now the universe is telling me that there is someone watching that has a nose and a pair of shoes. If this is you, 
you should make a donation today of six thousand dollars today and in one year from now when i've closed this business down and changed my name you will receive two hundred and forty thousand dollars we only take credit card no paypal please alvida my friend and don't forget to pay Hi, I'm Mateus Meurebre, Chief Fartologist at Unfamous Sounds. We took the world by surprise about a year ago when we started Unfamous Sounds. Unfamous Sound is a new way of licensing music that no one actually wanted to purchase before because of how awful the music is, uh, music and sound effects. So the concept really is to mix two worlds. On one hand, there's a world of crappy artists that couldn't sell their music and even people wouldn't want to download it for free because of how awful it is. And on the other hand, we have customers that don't have the money to purchase licensed music. So what we did basically with Adam Famous Sound is that we mix those two worlds. So the, the concept is unprecedented because in most businesses, the customers will go and purchase to get the music, right? But the Adam Famous Sounds, we came up with a different concept. So we decided to uh, take those awful sounds and we have a strong focus on farting sounds. You know, don't ask me why, but this is just the most popular. And for example, we have artists like Fart Boy Slim that was uh, actually uh, discovered on our platform. And we came up with a crazy business model. So the idea is that we actually pay the customers to download the music of the crappy artists. So this way is the best of both worlds. The customers that didn't have the money, now they can get licensed music and the crappy artists and sound engineers, they can have their music downloaded, you know? Now, the thing is, the artists do not get paid. Actually, it's the artists that actually pay the customers to download their music and we're like the middleman and we take our cut. But we feel really good about Unfamous Sounds because now we have uh, happy, crappy artists and sound engineers and we have uh, happy customers that, you know, would have downloaded music illegally anyway. So now they're they downloading music legally and they're getting paid for that. And before that, they didn't have any money to purchase the music. And now they get the music and the sound effects and they get money on top of that. Fartology is often misunderstood. And we managed to combine the science of fartology with a startup business model. And we're really proud of that. Farts have existed for millions of years. And it's only now that you can actually pay to license farts in music and in sound effects. Okay, so now you can stop using loser's B-roll footage and use C-roll instead. I know it can be daunting, but don't forget, repetition is the mother of skills. Now, I can't wait to see what you're gonna come up with, so if you do post a video, please tag it with Unfamous Academy hashtag, and also you can use Unfamous C-roll. Alternatively, you could use U-roll. So if you enjoyed this video and you want more tips to know what to do to stay small, shrink your influence, and become unfamous, on YouTube and beyond, just subscribe to this channel. Now I know people are gonna tell me, yeah, you're teaching people how to stay small, but you ask people to actually subscribe to your channel. Well, first of all, this is me saying, do as I say, don't do what I do, okay? Then that's the only way for me to actually share the good word of the Infamous Academy and convert more famous people and people that wanna start a YouTube channel. And I got a little trick. So for each new subscriber, I actually create a new channel that would remain at zero sub because I'm not gonna share it with anyone and I made sure that nobody can ever find it. So that's it for this video. I can't wait to see you in the next one. Oh, before I forget, you can be in famous too.